Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemy, and joining me this morning is John Pepin from the Michigan DNR. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so we're just catching up with things that's going on with the DNR, and something that people like to do during the winter months is go uh, cross-country skiing, snowmobiling, and that involves trails, correct? Right, absolutely. We also have off-trail snowmobiling and, and skiing and such, but... Um, one of the big issues right now is we have a ton of good snow after, especially after the late November big storms that we had. And so people from outside the area are asking if we have tremendous trail conditions now. But we do on one hand and on the other hand we don't because those storms also brought a bunch of trees down and a lot of tree limbs down and, and covered up a bunch of hazards like stumps and logs and things like that. And so we've had a lot of um, work with our trail sponsor groups out and also some of our own crews out working to clear the trails and even though the storms happened in late November we're still working on that. So there's some areas that are impassable that you can't get through at all. And uh, uh, some of the crews are actually renting like bulldozers and we're using uh, front end loaders and things like that to help clear trails. And so if people do get out on the trails, it's best to check ahead of time um, in the Marquette area. Travel Marquette's got a website with all the latest trail conditions. That's a good place to check. Um, and then also, even when you're out on the trails, be very careful for any of those hazards that are there because even the ones that we have open now still might have low-hanging branches and other types of obstacles. But uh, we're looking at um, the Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's is traditionally one of the biggest times of the year for snowmobiling and people have so much time off and they want to get out and enjoy the outdoors, understandably. Um, so we're hoping to have everything up and, and running um, by the end of the coming weekend and from then on. Uh, but right now, um, we still have a lot of concerns out there and uh, we have information on our website as well, um, places to uh, avoid closures, places that are closed. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, John. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And for more information, you can check out our website, upmatters.com, and to the local three news tonight at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock central for more local news, weather, and sports.